Greetings, brothers and sisters. We are indeed thankful to the one God for his divine wisdom, his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for his great wisdom and knowledge that he revealed to his servants, the prophets. And we can never thank him enough for the revelation and the boldness and the sincerity that he revealed to his servants, the apostles. Most of all, we thank him for the greatest religion that ever was. Amen. And we're blessed to know what that religion is. Amen. Men have called God religion many things out of ignorance. They have called it Christianity. They have called it Pentecostal. They have called it Islam. They have called it Episcopalian. They have called it Buddhist. Some have even called it Judaism. But God's religion expresses God's character. God's religion contains God's precept and God's law. God's religion has no beginning, has no ending. So therefore you can't attach or credit a man as being the founder of God's religion. God's religion is the ways of God himself. So viewer, you may ask, well, what is God? God is holy. So what is God religion? God religion is holiness. The book says, and a highway shall be there, and a way, and a way, not ways, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness, me, the way of God. It is the only religion that you can find in the scriptures. And it's the only religion that exists in the universe that has no date of its beginning. Mm -hmm. The scriptures teaches us according to as God has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy. Mm -hmm. So before the world was even created, for the heavens and the earth was created, the ways of God was in existence. That knowledge we don't take for granted. Seeing that we are in the midst of so many millions of religions around the world, it's a blessing to know that God has led us and placed us on the right path. Amen. And we thank him Amen. for putting us on the right path. Brothers and sisters, we can say of the truth that it is certainly good for all of us to be here. Amen. To all of our ministers that are present and to those that are not here from other parts of the world, we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus, to the brothers and sisters in South India and also East India throughout the continent of Africa and throughout the Caribbean and you that are in Canada and South America and through Europe, everywhere where the truth of God by God's permission is blessed to go. <clears throat> we are thankful that God have made provisions for us at this present hour to reach those who desire to be right and those who presently are not right. Amen. It is God's will and God's purpose and God's agenda to reach both the righteous and the unrighteous, Amen. the holy and the unholy. Amen. We have been having a blessed week all week, God knows. Amen. We are thankful for the 
good job that the brothers, the ministers, how they was teaching this week in the ministers' evaluation week. We thank God for all of them. And we thank God for the brothers and sisters that were supportive of them. I'm glad to have brothers who are not in competition with one another. As so many ministers are in various religious orders in the world. Brothers and sisters, we believe that God is the head of all things. Amen. This is the only religious program that you may run up on as you flip the dials of your television. That is not a religious program centered by man. The center of this program is God. That's why it's called the truth of God. You've got television programs, you know, that take on the name of the preacher and his wife, you know, uh, Don and Dora Ministries and all type of names. It's the truth of God because we believe nothing other than the truth. Our sole interest is the scriptures. We believe that God should be worshipped according to the scriptures and not similar to the scriptures. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's right. We believe that God should be worshipped according to the scripture, not similar to the scripture. There are many things that are similar to the scriptures, but it's not the scriptures. Brother Solomon teaches us, there is a way that seemeth right. That's similar. It seem right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. When we look at the many that are gathered here today, we certainly can bear witness that God continued to add daily, Amen. such as should <coughs> be saved. We are thankful to the viewers that are watching, and there are other brothers and sisters that just was not able, for some reason, to be here in the Holy Convocation this year. But we would love to update you uh, in reference to our meeting overseas, uh, going back into India, to you that are watching. Our first uh, visit to India was in February, where we were blessed. Over 800 souls came to walk with the truth. And the minister that we appointed to be Bishop of South India, Pastor T.S. Joseph, very good brother, was a very faithful brother. He was appointed in February and he passed away in October. So his journey with us by God's will was short. So we went to India in October and we were blessed to meet with our extended family in India. And there were so many, so many brothers and sisters there and our objective of going was to appoint a new minister, a new bishop for the South Indian areas because we don't want our brothers and sisters just wandering or in limbo, don't know what to do. Uh, so we went and we were blessed to appoint a new brother. Pastor P.C. Johnson is the new bishop of the South Indian area. And they will get a chance to see this program uh, that is being aired today. Also, we appointed three brothers to work very close to him. Uh, Pastor Joseph, not, there's a, so many Joseph down there in India. And also Brother Minister James and Brother Minister Josie. These three brothers are appointed to work very close Bishop Johnson in the South Indian area. Also, we are thankful how God continued to open the doors for First Church for the Truth of God program to go into so many regions of the world. As I mentioned to you that are here, uh, we are blessed to have, uh, it is the largest single catch 
You know, sometime you go fishing, when the apostles went fishing, mm -hmm. they were complaining that they didn't catch anything. Mm -hmm. So they were told to go out there and drop your net, you know, <laughs> keep it out there for a while. And by their obedience, they caught in abundance. So we were blessed to fish in East India by the way of internet and through the internet telecasts. We were blessed to catch 40,000 believers in one shot. The area of East India where we have to go is near an area called Yagoon, near Vietnam, near Bangladesh, not that far from China. And it's already a religious organization, <coughs> but the minister knew it was more out there than what he was presently preaching. But he just did not know. So by God's permission, God guided him and he ran up on the Truth of God program over the internet. You know, I believe firmly that if you are sincere and want to be scripturally correct and truly mean business about getting into the kingdom of God, God will lead you right to the truth. Without question, he will. So we are thankful. 40,000, that's a stadium. So God willing, we are looking forward to go to East India, if it be the Lord's will, next year to meet with our new brothers and sisters and sit and commune with the ministers in that area that I may evaluate what is being taught in the East India and the Central India area. So we are thankful. Let us be prayerful for the brothers and the sisters of that location as well. Television viewers, this is the greatest religious program that you have ever seen since you've been born. Amen. Did you hear what I said? This is the greatest religious program. There was a brother. He was one of our brothers. Never met him, but I read about him. His name was Joel, or some pronounce it Joel. And by God's permission, he was so sure. And God wanted the human family to be so certain that what God sent his messengers to say is 100% correct until there was just simply a few words that he made Joel say, and that was, this is that. This is that. That means anything that comes that's opposite, it's not that. Brothers and sisters, television viewers, this is that. That same thing, the exact same thing that Jesus taught. And I'm glad we can say that. We have the exact same thing that the Messiah came into the world to teach. We refuse to change it. We refuse to alter it. We refuse to make it appealing in any manner that will violate the scriptural law just to gain people. We refuse to deviate from it just to fellowship with apostolic people. We refuse to ignore scriptural precept and the concepts of God just to be friends with your pastor. God is at the head. Amen. We are simply the tail. There are many of you out there that hate this program. There are so many of you out there 
that have what I call jealous admiration. What is jealous admiration? You may have a minister now on television with the reader. That's right. Not that the reader, the reader can read the truth, but that doesn't mean he can dissect what he reads. So you have many on television and radio trying to do like this truth of God. And there are television people writing us who want to know, is this minister with you? Is that minister with you? Let me just clear the air. Amen. On the air, let me clear the air because there's air pollution. That's right. There's some air pollution. There was a prophet named Zephaniah. And Zephaniah teaches us that the priests have polluted the sanctuary. And he says he have done violence to the law. So if he have done violence to the law, his teaching violated the laws of God that we were instructed to meditate therein day and night. So we don't have as yet any other ministers that's of the truth of God on television. That's right. Amen. I'm not saying we won't in the future put some of the other brothers on television. Because I'm not a selfish man. Neither am I about power or glory. For all praises is due to our God. So to clear the air, television viewers, because you see a minister and a reader, he may be that, but he is not this. He is not the truth of God. Now, let me briefly say, many of you that are writing us, <coughs> pleading for fellowship. I get letters moreover throughout America and the foreign countries inviting First Church to fellowship gatherings. Yeah. We believe in fellowship. Yes, That's right. Don't we, brothers? Yeah. It's beautiful to see all these men. Yes, it's beautiful to see all of our sisters, too. We believe in fellowship. That's right. But there is a illusion that's circulating with this fellowship. That's right. You're going from church to church. Each church choir is singing. Each church minister is talking. Mm -hmm. But if the fellowship is not recognized by God, and if it's recognized by God, it's scriptural. That's right. It isn't that I'm going to fellowship with you because we work on the same job. Amen. It isn't that I'm going to fellowship with you because we grew up together. That's right. It isn't that we're going to fellowship with you just because you are called apostolic. Amen. What is that today? Amen. We don't believe in fellowship with you because you are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Mm -hmm. That's like saying we're going to fellowship with you because you have an arm and a nose. Amen. Knowing there's other parts to the body. Amen. The law to fellowship mm -hmm. is light. That's right. Did you hear what I said? In 1 John chapter 1. Listen at this. 1 John chapter 1 and at verse 5. This then is the message. Here it is. Glory to God. Amen. It didn't say this then is Pastor Jennings. No. 
You out there saying, you know, Pastor Jennings, you done got too high, you done got too big, you got hunkers following you, now you think you're somebody. Hmm. How do you think these people came? Amen. It wasn't because of me. No. God said, my sheep will hear my voice. voice. That's right. That's right. You can't credit us for the truth of God. God happened to choose us. That's it. Board of directors didn't vote us in. That's right. I have no shame of telling you how I was placed in a position that I'm in. Mm -hmm. I'm not arrogant by telling you. No. I'm not beside myself by telling you God put me in this position. That's right. You say you think nobody right but you. I don't think that. Why would I be that stupid? <laughs> you feel as though I think that because we won't subject ourselves to these cartoon network fellowship meetings. That's right. Bugs Bunny got his church. Go ahead, go ahead brother. Some of you got power puff girls for women preachers. Go ahead. Preachers jumping around like Curious George. That's right. Either we all see alike. That's it. Or we don't. That's it. There is no in between. No, it's not. The truth of God, we will, by all means, stay in accordance mm -hmm. with the plumb line that God has set in the earth. Amen. Amen. We will not Amen. fellowship mm -hmm. with nobody mm -hmm. that willingly disbelieves anything that God said. Amen. We will go and preach. That's right. But if there's something that you don't believe, we won't even give you an offering. That's right. That's why some of you preachers want us to come. So the buses can roll in front of your church. That's right. And money can be dumped out of our pockets. Amen. We will come. Amen. But we won't give you no money. No, no. We won't come. Mm -hmm. But the choir won't sing. That's right. We will come. Amen. But no solo will come individually. That's right. The message will be the choir. That's right. The message will be the solo. Yeah. The message will be the center of ingredients. That's right. What are you saying? We won't bow. That's right. To what you want. Yeah. You apostolic people have been doing the same thing for years. Going from one church to the other, one church to the other, just to see your friends. Amen. We are about getting into the kingdom of God. Amen. If my blood brother, yes. raise your hand. This is my blood brother, television viewer. Yeah. Before he came here, he was an assistant pastor in Bishop Bonner's organization. Amen. He was offered the largest apostolic faith church in Baltimore with a seating capacity from six to eight thousand. Amen. He was caught up in philosophy Amen. and theology Amen. and hermeneutics Amen. and hermeneutics. Amen. You need a whole encyclopedia and Webster as a sidekick to understand what he was saying. 
Amen. But if my blood brother would have took the offer, deviating in this message from the word of God, Amen. I would fight my blood brother That's right. and give him a good fight. That's right. Because he would be nothing more, I would be related to nothing but a false prophet. That's right. If I won't walk hand in hand with my blood, Amen. That reject the counsel of God. That's right. He won't walk hand in hand with you. That's right. That rejects the counsel of God. Amen. Teaching. We're either for God or against Him. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Now, when we shout, we know why. Amen. If we dance in the spirit, we know why. Yes. If we sing, we can sing with understanding. That's right. We don't have to worry about lies and false concepts giving us false hope just to prepare us for hell in eternity. That's yeah. right. The truth of God is just that. The truth of God. Truth of God. Yeah. Amen. So viewers, I don't want no more invitations from you churches inviting our choir. Go ahead. If you want us to preach, we are come. Otherwise, in that, mm -hmm. don't send me nothing. That's right. That's right. This then is the message. This is the message. Which it didn't say this is Pastor Jennings. This is the message. This is the message. Hold it. That's right. Message. I'll get them later, Dan. It is written, this is the message. That's right. Why would you need a message to correct messages? Go ahead, brother. go ahead. This is the message which we have heard. That will come after all other messages. That's right. Because messages went out that have deviated. That's right. From this message. That's right. The scriptures that you call the Bible. I say it that way because the term Bible is not in the book. No. The term Bible was given to the book by the Europeans. That's right. But the true name of the book is the scriptures. The holy scriptures. Not just the scriptures, but the holy scriptures. Mean the divine scriptures. That's right. Given by divine inspiration. That's right. This is this then is the, is message, the message which we have heard of him. Which we have heard of him. And declare unto you. And declare unto you. That God is light. God light. Is direction. That's right. God That's right. is guidance. Mm -hmm. God is wisdom. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. is knowledge. Amen. When Paul was on the road to Damascus and a light shines from heaven above the brightness of the sun, mm -hmm. God didn't bring darkness to him. He no. was already in that. That's right. Light came to him. That's Wisdom right. came to him. Mm -hmm. Guidance came to him. Instructions came to him. That's right. Listen. This then is the message. And what is it? Which we have heard. Which we have heard. And declare and unto declare you. unto you. That God is light. That God is light. And in him. In him. Is no darkness at all. Is no darkness at all. At all. What else? If we say that we have fellowship with Let, him. Do you hear this? Amen. Do you hear this? If we say. If we say that we have fellowship, we have fellowship with him. If we say we're in the body, that's right. 
fellowship with him. If I have fellowship with him, with who? Jesus, that means I'm in agreement with him. That, that's right. And if I'm in agreement with Jesus, I'm in full agreement with the prophets and the apostles. That's right. Why? Be mindful. That's right. Of the word spoken before by the holy prophets and the commandments of us, the apostles. That's viewer, right. hey viewer, ahead, you're so busy having fellowship with church to church. Go ahead, Are you in fellowship with Jesus? That's right. And truly, our fellowship. Listen. In First John chapter one and verse three. Truly, our fellowship. Our fellowship is with the Father. That's Glory right. to God. I don't think things aren't working on this, but. Amen. Amen. Truly, truly, our fellowship. Our fellowship is with the Father. Is with God. That's it. Now, if our fellowship is with God. That's right. Then I must come in agreement mm -hmm. with the intelligence of God. That's right. Because the intelligence of God is wholesome word. That's right. I must learn how. Someone say, well, wait a minute. You got a fellowship with one another in order to fellowship with God. You must be in light. That's right. Someone say, well, wait a minute. We, we, well, suppose a person is a brother. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Have we been preachers? Mm -hmm. You want fellowship with him? Mm. I will talk to him. That's it. It's wonderful. To help him. To help him. That's right. But I won't exchange services with him. No. No, no. No way. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Even the prophets preached. In the presence of a wicked king. That's right. That's right. Right in the kingdom. Right in it. Fellowship. That's right. With Ahab. Hmm. Right there, declaring a the Lord's word in the presence of Ahab. That's right. But wasn't a part of Ahab. No. Listen at the language of the scriptures. First John one and at verse three. Listen. That which we have seen. That which we have seen. And heard. And heard. Declare we unto declare you. Declare we unto you. That ye that also. Nothing else is to be declared. That's right. That which we have seen. And heard. And heard. Declare we unto you. One voice. That's right. One people. One people. It's like I was stressing to all of my brothers mm -hmm. that are here and the brothers in the and, uh, and the brothers in a foreign country. Mm -hmm. Television viewer. You know how organizations that many of you are in and all the pastors and ministers got something different? That's right. They have fellowship with one another and know that the brother they fellowship with believe in having more than one wife? That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. They have fellowship with one another and know the brother they're fellowshipping with don't believe in speaking in tongues? That's right. No, he believe in women preachers. Amen. No, he believe in baptizing any way you want. Yes. How can a man stand in a pulpit and say amen to another man that believe that you can have as many wives as you want and then say, he's my brother. That's a liar. That's a lie. Amen. Amen. That's right. For us to be brothers, we got to have the same father. Same father. That's right. Hath we not all one father? One father. One father. That's right. Hath not one God created us? That's right. Listen at this. That which we have seen. That which we have seen and heard. heard declare we, declare unto, we you unto you that ye also. That ye also may have fellowship. That ye also may have fellowship with us. With us. And truly. With us. With us. With us. That's right. So many of you writing us. Amen. What do you want from us? Fellowship. What do you want from us? That's right. You don't want all that's preached. Amen. Don't bother us. That's right. Because God is first. That's right. We lift God up. Amen. If you want us, you got to take the whole package. That's right. God and his word. God and the word. That's it. If you want us. That's right. The fellowship with you. Amen. We will not separate Lord from fellowshipping with God. That's it. Fellowship with you. That's right. That's right. If you want us. Amen. Let us take everything that come with it. All that comes. Everything that holiness got to offer. That's right. You got to change your teaching. That's it. 
That's right. You got to change your teaching. Amen. That's right. If you don't believe in speaking in tongues, I will not sit in your pulpit. No, no. You don't believe Amen. that you got to have one wife if you're married, I won't sit in your pulpit and listen to you. That's right. That's right. You don't believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I won't even sit in the pulpit to listen to you. That's right. You believe there's more than one God? Amen. I ain't sitting and listening to you. No, no. Are you listening? If there come any unto you. Listen. In 2 John chapter 1 and verse 10. If there come if. any. Who? Any. Who? Any. Black, white, yellow, brown, red. That's right. Fat, short, skinny. Any. Wise, dumb, blind, Amen. deaf. Educated, uneducated, any arrogant, humble, who cares? Any don't even matter. That's right. If they come any, 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 any unto you, unto you, and bring not this doctrine, and don't bring this doctrine, receive him not into your house. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Do you hear this? Amen. Receive him not into your house. But we're friends. Receive him not into your house. I knew him for years. Receive him not into your house. But he's my father-in-law. Receive him not into your house. That's right. We believe what's written. Amen. And the reason why we can freely preach this Mm -hmm. Because we're not worrying about whether folks love us or hate us. That's it. If you worry about the way people feel about you, then your message will try to comply with the feelings of the people. That's right. Pastor Paul said, whoever they seem to be make of no matter to me. That's right. The book says what? Receive him not Receive into him your, not house, in your house, neither bid him Godspeed. Amen. Now hold it. If a man is preaching mm -hmm. the yes. truth about baptism yes. and the truth about God, Amen. but yet you know that man still has unbelief in him. That's right. And if you say amen to him, amen. it is equal to bidding him God's speed. That's right. That's right. That's right. Even if you do preach the baptism Amen. and do preach the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. but I know you believe in having all the wives you want, mm -hmm. I'm going to sit quiet even if you speak about Acts 2.38. That's right. There should never be said about a man that claims he's of God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick out the bones and eat the meat. That's Hold right. it. Hold it. That's right. That's right. Hold it. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Give his preacher bone. No, no, no. The Bible said meat for the belly and for the belly meats. for the meat. That's right. No bone. No bone. Amen. You either got all meat, all meat or you ain't got nothing. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Do you hear this? Receive him not into your house. Amen. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. No fellowship. That's right. Can't yeah. trust him. Can't trust him. Because when you bring that lie in, he may try to slip it off on a weak person that's in the truth. That's right. Here's a weak person already struggling with remarriage and divorce and whatnot, and here's a liar. Amen. Come tell you, hey, look, ain't nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I did it. That's and then right. take the weak one to the law. That's right. Sir. That's right. Where the bill of divorce was permitted in the days of Musa or right. Moses. Mm -hmm. And then tried to deceive him through misusage of the law. That's right. He will use a past truth. That's right. And make it a present lie. Amen. Get this, television viewer. I want you to understand something. Mm -hmm. All the scriptures are true. But there's some things that's not for the New Testament church. That's right. But yet it's still true. Still true. 
It was truth for the time that it was brought. That's right. In the old time, to be a Nazarite separated unto God, you had to abstain from certain foods and also let the locks of your hair grow long. But now, eat whatsoever is sold in the market or shambles, and it's a shame for a man to have long hair. That's right. So, depending upon the subject, Amen. past yes. truth, that's true, can be a present lie. That's right. What about the New Testament? Mm -hmm. If you tell me I must today be baptized with the baptism of John. Right, that's right. Acts chapter 19. Not enough, sir. Not enough. That's not enough. Not enough. That's right. Yet one time that was true. It was true. It was so true until if you reject John's baptism, it was said you reject the counsel of God against yourself. That's right. Not being baptized with the baptism of John. Amen. Jesus taught us of the born of a woman. It's not a greater prophet than John. That's right. But now, mm -hmm. John said, Amen. One come after me. After me. That's mightier than I. Than I. Than I. Then John said, I am not. That's right. The light. The light. I am the light. not the light. That's right. In other words, I am not the way to go. Mm -hmm. I come bear witness of oh, the light. Amen. So John was good. Amen. Let me say something real strong. John's baptism was good enough for Jesus, but John's baptism is not good enough for me. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I just want to toss that out there to stir up the devil. You know? That's right. I want to stir the devil up. That's right. That's right, brother. <laughs> Amen. I want to stand that up. Stir it so up. Hopefully I can get a fool running here. <laughs> That's right. Amen. I say John baptism was good enough for Jesus. Mm -hmm. But it's not good enough for us. Not good enough for us. That's right. Because what Jesus done was simply an example to let us know what we must do. That's right. That's right. Jesus had no sin. No. He was a perfect example of the, the express image of God. Express image. Express image. God expressed himself through an inner image. That's right. And the image was the reflection of the characteristics and the ways and the doctrine and the standard of God. That's right. Christ was the wisdom of God and Christ was the power of God. Amen. So here, back then you had to be baptized with the baptism of John. John, that's right. But to prove that it's not good enough for us, mm -hmm. why Apollos was at Corinth. Paul having passed through the upper coast. Listen at this. In Acts chapter 19 and at verse 1. Yeah. Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus. And what did he find? And finding certain disciples. What did he say? He said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And? And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. What did he ask? And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? That's my question. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Glory to God. How were you baptized? That's right. How were you baptized? Amen. You walk around claiming you a born again Christian? Mm -hmm. How did that happen? That's right. Mary talked to you? Hmm. You saw angels with little pudgy fat knees? Amen. What happened? That's right. You went inside the Catholic closet and told him things? Amen. And he gave you a rosary chain, a chain full of beads? That's right. And you went on a foolish feeling spree? Amen. A good luck charm? Lord. Lucky charms. That's right. That's right. What happened? Mm. You bowed your head, you raised your hands, you joined some church, mm. you prayed the sinner's prayer, mm. put your lay hands on, you fell on the floor and began to wobble like you had convulsions. Amen. You had a temporary divine seizure. That's right. What happened? What happened? Listen. Unto what then were ye baptized? How were you baptized? And what did they say? And they said unto John's baptism. They had passed truth. Amen. Didn't it? That's right. They had passed truth. That's right. In the New Testament. Mm -hmm. 
But what? Then said Paul, then John, said Paul John, verily baptized with the baptism baptized of repentance. With the baptism of repentance. Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. See, that baptism was incomplete. Right. Now, what do you mean? Because you still must repent. That's right. So if you notice, the baptisms that was in the scriptures mm -hmm. began to expand or got greater till it got to the right one. That's right. And Moses did baptized in the cloud, in the sea, but you wasn't taken totally under. That's right. That's true. See? That's right. It had to get, the light had to get brighter and brighter. That's right. You was baptized in the cloud, in the cloud, in the midst. Miss or do. That's right. Fog. In the sea, what do you mean? You have to pass through water. You pass through it. But you didn't have to go under it. That's right. Your body didn't have to be covered by the water. All you needed was the mist, the dew, to be upon you. That's right. Pass through the cloud in the sea. Now, when a little bit more light comes, you was baptized only unto repentance. Unto repentance. By going underwater, but no sins was affected. That's it. That's right. No sins was affected and not even a name used. That's right. Go ahead, brother. So now he had to bring the people closer to him. Closer. Amen. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. That's right. We will keep the repentance. Mm -hmm. But now we got to take water and blood. Water and blood. And cause the people to be buried in it, in my name. That's it. This is what happened to John's disciples, viewers. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. And? Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. Who is that? That is on Christ Jesus. And what did John's disciples do? When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. They dropped. They passed truth. That's right. Because they passed truth became a present lie. That's right. They didn't fight it. Didn't fight it. Now, mm -hmm. television viewers and radio listeners that hear this program around the world, mm -hmm. please tell me, are you in fellowship with God? Amen. That's it. Are you in fellowship mm -hmm. with God? With, amen. The way I am in fellowship with God is if I'm in full agreement. Mm -hmm. What is written in the book of scriptures, not just coming together, having a singing gathering. That's right. You know, when I came up in falsehood, that's what we used to do. Amen. Go from church to church and just hear choir sing. Now it's time for food. Food, that's right. Awesome, strong meat, strong meat. It's time for food now. That's right. It's time to have some wholesome food. Wholesome, wholesome. That's the right. doctrine of God. That's right. Something that will develop the people, mm -hmm. that they may have the divine intelligence of God, mm -hmm. that they may get closer to God. Going to church doesn't get you closer to God. It is the knowledge and the wisdom and the revelation of God. That's right. That gets you closer and connect you and unite him and you together. That's right. That's right. You must have revelation. Amen. Amongst the people. Among the people. Now, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. viewers, you're trying to have church outside hmm. of scripture that's right that's right you're trying to have church mm -hmm. outside Amen. of the scriptures that's right you're trying to build a people and ignore the rules, rules. of the building inspector that's right Right. To build a people, teaching is what builds a people. Mm -hmm. So the scriptures is the blueprints to the construction of this people. That's right. You must have all the workers, all, all the, the engineers, That's right. all the officers. That's right. 
in order to have a people built right, you must have all the qualified officers, all the officers. participating in the construction That's of right. this people. That's right. That's right. You just can't in a natural building have plumbers. No. Because you won't have no light. Amen. You just have all men that's going to lay sheetrock. Mm -hmm. Who's going to build the wall? That's right. So if we are laborers together with God, with God, with God, with, mm -hmm. with them, that's it. Not trying to run ahead of them. No, with. If we labor together with God, that means He's at the head, and we respect His law, His commandment, and whatever say He, whatever way He says, this is how you have church. That's right. This is how you have church. That's this right. This is how I want to be worshipped. Amen. That's it. That nobody come along and say, "Well, I think I'm doing this way. I do it." No. 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 The question is, how do God want to be worshipped? That's right. They that worship God must worship God in spirit. Hold it. They that worship God must worship God in spirit. Hold it. So I say we do that because we got the Holy Ghost. It means more than that because the spirit is more than the Holy Ghost. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go the spirit ahead. is the attribute of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Holy Ghost is simply the attribute of God or a function. The Holy Ghost is nothing more than a title that God had and it describes the way God functions. That's right. See, when God come in you functioning as the Holy Ghost, then His Spirit dwells in you manifesting that act. Comforter. That's right. Anointing. That's right. Move upon. Mm -hmm. But now you got Spirit in the form of letter. The words. They that worship God must worship God in spirit. They that worship God must worship God in word. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. They that worship God must worship God in spirit. That's right. They that worship God must worship God in word. The words that I speak unto you. How do I worship God with words and not open my mouth? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. What do you mean? My worship must be according to the words That's it. or the language or the message of the book of tongues. That's right. All my worship must be in the book of tongues. That's right. My worship cannot contradict the prophets. Amen. It can't contradict the apostles. That's right. Go ahead. Say that with, listen. In John 4 and verse 22, at uh, verse 21. What is it? Or at verse 20. Our fathers worshiped. Uh, listen. Our fathers worshiped in this mountain. Worship in this mountain. And ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Now, let's talk overseas. Hmm. That's what my Jewish brothers say today. Mm -hmm. In Jerusalem. What did he say there? That ye say that in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. Is the place where men ought to worship. So you still call Jerusalem a holy city. That's right. Amen. Still call it that place. How can you call Jerusalem today, today a holy city? That's right. When you allow faggots to have gay parades in Jerusalem. Amen. 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 The gays have parades in the streets of Jerusalem. My Lord. Past truth. That's right. That's why we're waiting for a new Jerusalem. Yes, That's right. Must be, must be new. That's right. Must be new. Need something new. Amen. Are you listening? This is good. And ye say that in Jerusalem. You say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought place to worship. Where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, but Woman. Jesus said, Woman. Believe me. You better believe me. The hour cometh. The hour is on its way. When ye shall neither when in this ye mountain, shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, nor at Jerusalem, worship the Father. We're not in that natural mountain. That's right. We're not in that natural city of Jerusalem. That's right. But yet we are able to worship Jehovah. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Brother. Are you listening? Go ahead. I don't have to be up on a natural mountain or be up in the city of Jerusalem to worship God. No, no. Are you listening? Amen. Listen. Ye worship, ye know not what. You don't know what you're doing. We know what we worship. We, we know what we're doing. For some you think you know what you're doing. That's we do right. know what we're doing. That's right. It may sound boastless, but if you're doing it right, you know what you're we doing. We know. That's right. And we are determined. I can't even describe to you. 
how adamant and how determined we are Amen. to do it right. That's right. If we create enemies from the four corners of the earth, mm -hmm. we're going to do it right. That's right. Is that right, brothers? Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. To do it right, you got to surrender friendship. That's right. To do it right, you got to disconnect yourself from former buddies. That's right. It's true. If you want to do it right, do it right. You don't compromise beliefs. No, no, no. Amen. I'll preach for you, you preach for me. No, I'll preach for you. But if you deviate from the book, you ain't preaching here. That's right. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Listen. Ye worship, ye know not what. You know not what. We know what we worship. We know what we worship. Why? For salvation is of the Jews. And? But the hour cometh and now is. Yes. When the true worshipers. Shall worship the Father in spirit. And in truth. Shall worship the Father in spirit. Shall and worship in truth. the Father according to the words. And in truth. Because he said the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. That's right. And they are life. They are life. Are you in fellowship today, television viewer? Amen. Even you that are here. What kind of church are you fellowshipping in? That's true. That's right. Well, we baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, believe the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. So? That's right. What does that prove? What does that prove? That's like coming out the wound of your mother. One day you got to do more than that. That's right. They come out the wound of your mother. All right, you got to do more than that. Do more than that. You got to get the afterbirth off of you. That's right. You don't get the afterbirth off of you, you'll still be affected by the, the uh, placenta. That's right. The placenta is equal to your grave clothes. Mm -hmm. Your Adamic life. That's right. Now you got to have scriptural knowledge and revelation to clean the placenta up. That's what a doctor would take something to pull the mucus off the nose. That's right. Because the breath of the man is the spirit of a man. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? That's right. What kind of fellowship? What kind of fellowship? When I came up in what was called church, mm -hmm. Bible way worldwide. Mm -hmm. It was common to have a Baptist preacher My Lord. in a so-called apostolic church. My Lord. You churches mm -hmm. that's bowing to America Amen. that were stooped low as dogs just to get a grant Amen. from Bush, a politician ahead, have no business in the pulpit. That's right. Trying to speak. That's right. To God's people. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. You are sellout. That's right. You are compromise your belief. Amen. To get change. Yes. From Bush. That's right. Compromise scriptures. Amen. Just so Bush can build you a home for the elderly. That's right. Compromise scripture. Mm -hmm. So you can have a soup kitchen. Amen. Nothing wrong with having those things. Mm -hmm. But if you got to break the commandment of God to get it, get it, you got it unlawful. That's right. And therefore, God is never the reason. That's right. Are you listening? That which we have seen and heard. Listen. Back in 1 John 1 and verse 3. That which we have seen and heard. Declare we unto, declare you, we unto you. That ye also may have that fellowship also with us. That ye may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship. And truly, truly, truly. Truly. Our fellowship. Is with the Father. Is with God. Is with the scriptures. That's is right. with the words of God. That's right. Viewer, are you fellowshipping with God? Hmm. Give it some thought. I know some of you say, oh, I was in fellowship this morning with the Lord, all in my room by myself, and That's right. whoo, just singing and praying, and <laughs> got to get a Honda. Amen. Oh, just having a good time, fellowship, just a minute, just a minute. You That's think right. fellowship is sitting in a room where you don't have much light singing to yourself? My Lord. And talking to yourself? My Lord. And here's a woman preacher sitting there doing that? 
That's right. Nobody That's right. truly have fellowship with God mm -hmm. and then disbelieve mm -hmm. what God said. Amen. Nobody. Are you listening? Nobody. That's right. I must love God more than I love you until I'm going to compromise my belief because how long we knew one another. That's right. That's true. Are you listening? Amen. You so-called apostolic fellas, hmm. Baptist men preached in your pulpit. Mm -hmm. You flooded with women preachers. Amen. Men on the down low preach there. Mm. You That's claim true. you got some standard. <laughs> but yet you will let a man in your pulpit mm. who believe in remarriage and divorce preach. And then you will have one of your brothers who don't believe in remarriage and divorce read for him. That's right. 